sometimes you get inspired to make something at home. You're like, ooh, that, that's a good flavor profile. I should try that. Hey Health Nuts, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since we've done a Trader Joe's haul, so I thought this would be the perfect time of year to uh, basically share with you guys a bunch of items that we picked up. I haven't been to Trader Joe's probably since the fall. I can't remember when our last uh, Trader Joe's haul was, but I think it was around Halloween. So we got a lot of things, like I said, some new stuff, some old stuff. I'm really excited to try these and let's just hop right in. So I'm gonna start with the cold stuff and the freezer stuff so I get these back into the fridge so they don't melt, although we are in the middle of winter so I don't think they're gonna actually melt, uh, but we'll just start with those. So uh, Matt picked, and these are some things that Matt picked up, these are some things I got, and just as a disclaimer, just because it's at Trader Joe's does not make it healthy, not everything here I'm sharing is a healthy option. It is more, some of it is like convenience foods that are just kind of like novelty items that are fun to try. And we incorporate these foods into a healthy lifestyle. So we will have like a salad or homemade food with, say if we have one of these like prepackaged food items, you know, this doesn't, this isn't the majority of our food that we eat. Just as a disclaimer, because I don't want people to think all of these are really healthy because Believe it or not, Trader Joe's is not all healthy. That You have to check the ingredients when you buy stuff. So I always turn around the labels to see what the ingredients are and if it's something that I don't mind eating once in a while. So first thing we have here are some turkey burgers. So Matt grabbed these. I don't think we've had these before. So these are actually raw turkey burgers, so you have to uh, cook them, which is nice that they're not already like pre-cooked. Uh, and the ingredients are great. Turkey, salt, rosemary. So that's the kind of ingredient list that I like. So the next thing, this is something that is a little bit more indulgent, but I love it so much. It is their French onion soup. I really wanna try making my own French onion soup. I remember my mom making it when we were younger and I did not like it. I mean, she didn't do it like broiled with cheese on top in the oven. It was kind of just like, I remember it was in a clear big bowl and it was like floating whole onions in it. It was not appetizing for a kid. Uh, but I, I would like to make my own version and uh, and do like more of the traditional kind of boiled cheese and croutons on top, but a little bit more healthified. So let me know if you guys would like to see that. But this comes with a packet of two, I believe, and it's so, so good. I love it. It's just um, a little treat that I like to get from Trader Joe's once in a while. Next freezer item we have, this is a new one. I haven't tried. These are the chicken bolty pies. I've been really into like chicken pot pies lately. I actually have one coming up on the channel soon if it's not already live. And I'm just really into like pastries with a chicken stew. I don't know, this it's just, it's something I want. It's like very comforting for me right now. So this is tender chicken chunks and vegetables in a traditional balti curry. Uh, so yeah, I'm excited to try this. I think it comes with two. Uh, yeah, so we can have this. French uh, French soup and you have a delicious uh, cozy dinner. Uh, I'd probably have them at two separate occasions, but I'm really excited to get those a go. And next thing, I think, oh, we've tried both of these before. Uh, we have some Mexican style roasted corn with co cotija cheese. I never know how to say that. Uh, so we've tried this before, Matt really likes it. This is just good as like a side uh, for, for your dinner. And then we also, we actually had these last night, uh, mushroom risotto. And uh, yeah, it's just like I said, another side that you can have maybe next to chicken. I made these last night and I actually added in some fresh shiitake mushrooms just to kind of like beef it up, I guess. Uh, I like to do that sometimes with packaged items, just add in some fresh uh, things as well, like maybe a handful of spinach would be really nice in this. The next freezer item that it is really hard to find sometimes at grocery stores is unsweetened acai berry packages. So this is just acai puree. So this is really good to make acai bowls that you decorate, uh, you can put it into a smoothie. Um, you can do lots with these. So I always look for the unsweetened ones because I just, I'm not all about that extra sugar. So this just has acai puree, water, citric acid, and that's it. So. Uh, yeah, and acai berry is actually quite low in sugar. So I just like that you can control the sugar, you can add some sweetness with banana, and just blend that all up, put some granola on top, and you have a really delicious acai berry bowl that you made at home. Now for fridge items, we got two packages of bacon. They have really good bacon at Trader Joe's. This is the apple smoked, uncured apple smoked 
bacon. So we got two packages and they're like really thick slices. So they're really good. They don't just like shrink up when you cook them up. So there's no nitrates added and I just love the like the flavor and the thickness of these. So these are delicious, perfect for Sunday morning brunch and uh, with like pancakes on the side. That's like my ideal breakfast on the weekend. This next item I'm really excited to try. I've seen a YouTuber I follow, Kendra Atkins, I believe her name is. Uh, she's super cute. I will link her down below. She has twins and I think she's pregnant again. And I just watch her channel once in a while. I just, I really like her. I think her channel is underrated. You guys should just go follow her. She's just super real. And she talks about this salad all the time. It's the corn, corn and quinoa salad with cochita cheese and roasted poblano cilantro dressing. So in, even when we were cashing out, the cashier was like, oh, this is really good. You guys will like this. So um, I'm excited. I think we're gonna have that for lunch today with like something else on the side. Then for like butters and spreads, uh, we have some Kerrygold pure Irish butter. This is the salted one. So I really try not to do like margarine in the house. Uh, the only one I would buy is like Earth Balance. Uh, but for the most part, we just have regular butter if we want it on toast. So this one's really nice because it's a little bit more spreadable. It's softer, it's grass fed, and that's why I like to get the salted one because I don't use this one for baking. When you are baking, you want to go for the unsalted so you can control your salt in your baked goods. Otherwise, if it's on toast, I like a little sea salt. This was uh, this is not a Trader Joe's branded item, but it was at Trader Joe's. It's the um, Mayoko's, is that? Yeah, Mayoko's uh, vegan cream cheese. So this is basically made with cashews and the ingredients were awesome. Uh, there's like, cause a lot of times like when you do vegan cheese alternatives, it's all soy, like a bunch of soy and weird vegetable oils. This one's not too bad and uh, yeah, I'm excited to try this. Sometimes I just crave cream cheese and if I'm gonna have cream cheese, I like a vegan one or I like a good quality dairy one. This next item I actually only picked up because they were doing samples, which goes to show that samples work. I tried this and I was like, this is so good. I almost want to make my own version of it. Uh, it is the jalapeno lime almond dip. I liked it so much about two. And it is so good. If I was just to read almond dip, I'd be like, is it just grainy? I don't know what that is. It is kind of like a cream cheese, but it's made out of almond. It's creamy and it's spicy with the jalapeno and it's just really delicious. It's vegan and gluten-free and I think it's gonna be delicious with like um, crackers or baby carrots. I really like it. Or even like spread on a wrap before you add in all your toppings. I think it's like really a really flavorful dish and <laughs> dip, I mean. And the ingredients are great. Almonds, water, lime juice, jalapenos, olive oil, salt, not, there's potassium chloride, um, but really clean. I like it, so I'm excited for, I don't think Matt got to try it, so I'm excited for him to give that a go. I also, from the fridge section, picked up some black kale or organic Tuscan kale. Black kale has so many names. There's like, oh, there's another name, but there's also like dinosaur kale. There's like, there's a K name for it. Anyways, it had Dalmada kale. I don't know, there's so many names. It's like the kale with all the names. Um, but yeah, I like that it's organic, it's pre-cut, pre-washed, and you could just simply add this to stir fries. Uh, you can add it to smoothies, um, salads. It's super convenient to have just ready to go. Uh, then we got some organic ketchup. We were out. So yes, we still eat ketchup, but I just make sure to get the one without high fructose corn syrup because that's gross. Uh, then, I haven't tried this, but I've heard it's good. I got the uh, aioli garlic mustard sauce. So sounds delicious. I also want to kind of make my own. That's the thing about Trader Joe's. Sometimes you get inspired to make something at home. You're like, hmm, that, that's a good flavor profile. I should try that. And then, oh, Matt got some blueberry craft beers. He loves blueberry beer. He loves like really sweet alcohol. Like he loves like lychee martinis. He like the only thing that's like not sweet that he drinks is like old fashions, but he loves blueberry beer. Okay, then we got uh, some organic yellow mustard, just a small one because we don't really use it too much. Uh, but you know, barbecue season is on the way. I hope so. That's good to have for bar uh, for burgers. And then Matt got this too: organic kosher hot and spicy dill pickles. Uh, I like that they're already like pre-sliced and stuff. Yeah, he's ready for. I think he's like planning barbecue season or something. I don't know. With the turkey burgers, he's like ready. I didn't even put that together until now. 
But uh, yeah, we have those. We're ready for a barbecue party. Uh, then I got some organic full fat coconut milk. I like the one from Trader Joe's. Then I got, which probably won't be a fan favorite, I got some sardines. These are wild caught skinless and boneless sardines in olive oil and sardines are really high in omega-3s if you didn't know and I'm obviously I'm Portuguese so I grew up like eating sardines on the barbecue like my whole life and it's really delicious but it wasn't it hasn't been until the last like few years that I've bought the sardines in a like a tin I guess what is this yeah it's like in a it's like in a little tray tin and these are really good uh, just to have once in a while with like crackers and stuff it's just really like I said high in omega-3s and you just want to make sure the ingredients are good so this is sardines olive oil and salt I haven't tried this brand and I haven't bought in sardines like this in quite a while so I'm curious to see if I can get back into it when I used to have it I really liked it it's like obviously a very fishy smelling thing to have but it tastes so good so uh, I will report back if those are good but oh I did the reason actually I got those is because I was contemplating on them and then a girl came up and literally picked up like five of them I was like ooh, I need to I need that so she was selling it for me Matt picked up some of the epic bars these are basically like jerky bars like meat bars so uh, this is the sriracha one and then this is the just natural bison uh, so this is oh chicken sriracha and bison so I've had these before they're pretty good I don't like crave them or anything but uh, they're pretty good and it's just a nice alternative from like all the really sweet protein bars this is just like actual meat <laughs> so he really likes getting those okay last in here ooh this was like a little treat item for me uh, these are organic mini peanut butter sandwich crackers I don't know why I'm like really into peanut butter sandwich crackers lately and I yeah actually well I know how it started my cousin Caitlin from Caitlin's Corner she has a YouTube channel on here as well and she bought like another brand at a health food store and she's eating them and it like re reignited my like love for peanut butter sandwich uh, crackers so I picked some up at my local store the next time I was there and I've just been like craving them ever since I try to get the organic ones that have a little bit less crap in them but to be honest it's definitely a treat and um, Caitlin you got me hooked. So I got those from Trader Joe's. Uh, okay, that's it in there. I just have some beers in there for apparently our barbecue party. Okay, we got a lot of stuff this time. We got, oh, so another non-Trader Joe's item, but I got the Puffins peanut butter cereal. I eat this not for breakfast, but as a dessert. My favorite one is their pumpkin spice one, uh, but it's only around like the fall time. I picked up Oh, this is just something I want to try. You guys know I'm not like completely gluten free, but I do eat a low gluten diet. Uh, this is their gluten free all purpose flour. And yeah, I was just curious. It looked like a different one and uh, just, uh, yeah, the base of it is like brown rice flour, potato starch, rice flour, tapioca flour. So I'm excited to try that. I've been playing around with different flours because we're working on our flour substitution guide which is coming soon, you guys will love it. It's gonna solve all of your flower questions that you always ask me about like substituting and like what's good for what. Uh, so I'm just trying to like uh, look at different flower options. Uh, Matt got uh, these uh, oven baked cheese bites made with 100% cheese. So he, we've been re recently like really into the moon cheese which is basically like dehydrated cheese and it's just like really crunchy and satisfying it's something weird about him I, I really like them though and uh, yeah so anyways Trader Joe's has their own version so we're gonna give those a go and then last but not least in here I just got some blanched almond flour so uh, I was just low on it and I love baking with almond flour so I got some of that all right next we have organic corn chip dippers so Matt picked these up he I think got suckered into the sample section like I said the samples get you every time. That's why Costco always like you end up with way more than you wanted to buy. It's because of the samples. So he got these and it's just organic corn, organic sunflower oil and sea salt. Then we got or I got some nutritional yeast, which Matt is just as much of a fan of. This stuff is so good. We put it on literally everything. Uh, what else do you get? I told you he likes the he loves crunch. Rolled corn tortilla chips, chili and lime flavored. Okay, these actually look really cool. I'm excited to try that. He got some grass-fed beef sticks, like kind of like pepperoni sticks, but beef. 
And then I got one of the Perfect Bars. Yeah, Perfect Bars in the coconut peanut butter flavor. Matt got the, got one of these like another time we were at Trader Joe's and I really liked them. I just realized I never put this in the fridge last night and it's just been in here the whole time. You do need to keep these in the fridge. So anyways, these are really good and they're just like a different type of bar since it's just a different flavor. I like that you keep them in the fridge, but I didn't do that, but you know. And then avocados were on sale. Well, I don't know if they were on sale, but they're 99 cents, so I got four. And these are all like nice and ripe, so I'll probably have to make like guac tonight. It's actually Super Bowl today when I'm filming this, so you know, maybe we'll make some guac. The last thing I got is some nut products. So I picked up, this is my favorite, the crunchy almond butter salted butter from, ooh, from Trader Joe's, and I think that is everything. That was a lot of stuff, guys. I hope, hopefully you guys got some inspiration for what to buy when you guys are shopping at Trader Joe's next. I know for all my Canadian viewers who are like, we wish we had a Trader Joe's here. I feel you and not everyone lives like an hour and a half away from the border like Matt and I do. But if you guys do make it out there, hopefully this will give you some ideas on what to buy. And I will have a video coming up soon of like my go-to, like things that you have to pick up at Trader Joe's that are maybe more unique and I just love getting every single time. Uh, so that video will be coming soon for those people who are just visiting and they want to know like what, okay, what are the things that are like tried and tested that I should actually invest my money in? Because, you know, some things that I share with you guys, we haven't tried yet. So a lot of these things, you know, are still up for, you know, we don't know if we're going to love them and repurchase them. So hopefully that next video will help you guys out. Uh, but thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to this channel. You can hit that red subscribe button down below. I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday here on my channel. And make sure too, you guys are subscribed to our weekly, in a nutshell, newsletter that goes to your inboxes every Friday. And it's just like a recap of things that you may miss, may have missed, or discounts, or exclusive uh, content, or sneak peeks to future recipes. That all happens on the newsletter every week. So thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna put this all away, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.